I'm so blessed to work in a profession where I get to come to school every day and work with amazing children that I call my cherubs, like this young lady. Um, dynamic staff, some of whom were my former students. Thank you for being here tonight. And a terrific administration, all with whom they, they energize me and challenge me each new day that I enter the classroom. And this is my 20th year. Uh, I feel very, it's very special to me that my principal, Carrie Norris, and the other administrators in our district uh, selected me as the Teacher of the Year this year. Uh, to them, I give a heartfelt thank you. For me, teaching was an unexpected profession. Following high school and college, I explored career options in military intelligence, law, uh, broadcasting. And it wasn't until I was given an opportunity to teach that I discovered this was going to be my chosen path. And I absolutely love the profession. I think that most people, including myself, want to in some way make a difference in the world, um, leave some sort of legacy, and, and be rewarded in life. And I really believed that, and still do, that I can have that through teaching. I was fortunate enough to grow up in a military family, and throughout my childhood I moved every couple of years to a new country or a new state. And this afforded me not only an opportunity to explore other and, and witness firsthand other cultures, but it also gave me an outstanding education. And now that I wanted to be a teacher, I couldn't wait to get in the classroom and share these experiences with my students and reveal to them a world out there that was full of opportunities, limitless opportunities. And I knew that in order to accomplish this, I needed to reflect on some of the remarkable teachers that I've had, which I want to pay really quick honor to. Um, Larry Toms, Karen Franks, Carolyn Boydston, Helen Dantes, Frank Hoff, Marge Cornwell, Ralph Freund, Rosemary Donnelly, and Virginia Grabe. These people really inspired me in the classroom. But even so, even in addition to that, my invaluable family and friends, especially my awe-inspiring parents, brother, and grandmother. They have made such a huge difference in my life because they've encouraged me, supported me, and motivated me. And so I try to draw on their qualities and bring that into my classroom in hopes that I might, too, inspire my students the way they've inspired me. You see, I believe that all of us are teachers, whether it's our profession or just in life. It's important that we lead by example and embrace those teachable moments wherever they may present themselves. And in our teaching profession, we're told that it, we need to make, uh, make sure that ensure that students are career and college ready by the time they exit high school. But I think that, more importantly, it should resonate into making sure that we generate children and students that become positive contributing members of society because that's when we're all rewarded. And so tonight I would like to say congratulations to all of the teachers here that are being honored. I feel humbled to be amongst you. And thank you for being contributing members of society because you do make a difference. Thank you.